delicious. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 18 Road to Glory, episode number 90 today, guys. We're getting up there in the episodes, and today, guys, we are going to be picking up one last addition to our mega team, just to kind of like, you know, seal it all off, pretty much make it the best team in the game. Although, I reckon that this is probably the most meta sort of uh, setup for us in my game, sort of gameplay. Um... I definitely did want to get this card because I feel like just getting him in the team was just a necessary thing and it pretty much just completes the road to glory. But first of all, guys, we have a whole bunch of uh, World Cup packs to open. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. And uh, you can see from the first one, got Walker. The second one's going to contain a 90 rated Mats Hummels. And um, yeah, as, as I said last episode, guys. We were just kind of like dumping everything we had into the world, oh, into World Cup mode. You can see I'm on 33,000 coins right now. And in this pack, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why I was dumping a few coins in the World Pack mode, or World Cup mode, because we're going to get another icon. And it's actually going to be a French striker but that goes by the name of Thierry Henry, 93 rated card. I actually haven't used his club, uh, his card in regular foot. And that's, uh, a different walkout that I have not seen yet this year so they could have added new walkouts um, to the World Cup mode but what I will say though is um, this card is phenomenal this card's really really good and um, I like I'm not disappointed I didn't get him in regular foot but I'm happy we got him in this one because he also gets links to like the French players like Pogba and stuff like that and um, hopefully we can can pack Pogba later down the line. But our team is looking pretty nice now. We got Messi, we got Henri, we got Aguero, and um, hopefully we can just progress. You guys will see some more pack pulls right here. This one's just going to be an Argentinian striker, and it's going to be Aguero once again. And I think last episode I actually said that we got a duplicate Aguero. This is the duplicate Aguero. So I got that all messed up, guys. I apologize. But, um... Yeah, as you guys can see, we're down to like 800-something coins. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm pretty much just clearing out the club. I sold on Mares, and I'm selling on Hummels as well, because I really wanted to get just more packs open for this World Cup mode. And I think next episode, we might be doing a massive icon pack opening for the World Cup mode. We'll try and get maybe, I say, I don't know how many cards I have in my club, but I reckon we can get maybe about 15 of them together. So that should be pretty, pretty decent. Right here, we're going to get Ozil, um, the 88-rated cam for um, Germany, of course, and Arsenal in real life. And uh, yeah, he's not a card I'm going to use. He doesn't really have the stats in the right places. He probably feels pretty good, to be honest. But um, it's just not a card I'm going to use, to be honest. With like players like Messi, Aguero, they're just going to be more meta and they're probably going to be better for the game. And uh, this is a pack pull I'm very, very happy about because we get Boateng. He's probably one of the best center backs in World Cup mode. I think Varane has crazy like pace, defense, and physical, and that's probably the card you want the most. But um, Boateng is not far behind, and I think Boateng, and if you got like a Blanc maybe, or like a Varane and Blanc combination, I think it would be absolutely unreal. So um, I'll happily take a Boateng, and we'll send him up to the club like that. Now, on top of that, guys, we also managed to get the Costa Rican goalkeeper, uh, Kaylor Navas, and the um Unfortunate thing for Kalo Navas is there's not really any way to put him into a team because he's pretty much the highest rated um, player from that uh, region. And beyond that, you kind of need to like have icon center backs. Otherwise, you can't really use him. So he's been a bit shafted in some sense, but it's all right. And uh, this is another big pack pool. We managed to get Paul Pogba. Unfortunately, he's only 86 rated and his pace has been severely downgraded. Same with his defense. But he is coming out with those dab celebrations in the French kit. And um, we got more packs open. We managed to sell on Hummels and Sessegnon. And uh, we're going to continue opening the World Cup packs. Because, you know, I just wanted to get a whole bunch of players. Just make sure that I have a really, really fleshed out club. And uh, make sure that we are in a good position right here. We're able to pick up Marcelo, um, which was a pretty decent pack pull. Again, his stats don't look that amazing. If you look at it, 79 pace, 82 to defense, 82 physical. For an 87 left back, probably not the best. I'd say probably Tellers is probably going to be... Uh, not Tellers, um... 
Sandro. Sandro would probably be a better card. Although I don't think he's picked for the World Cup squad. So that's a bit interesting. And then right here, guys, for one of our final pack pulls, we are going to pack pull Manuel Neuer, the 91 rated goalkeeper. And um, whenever I come up against Neuer in World Cup mode, he seems like he's a pretty menacing player. However, when I play with him, he doesn't see that ama it seem that amazing. But right here, guys, let's do one icon upgrade just to give you guys a little bit of a taster for what's coming next episode. And um, as you guys can see, it's very affordable. And since we've got players like Urzil and stuff like that, which we can put through those, um, it's going to be rather cheap for us, I reckon. It's not going to be that too expensive, and uh, we should be able to get quite a few icon packs. Right here, guys, we're going to get a Portuguese center mid that's going to be by the name of Deco, and I'm actually going to be putting Deco through the Ronaldo SBC to get that 96-rated Cristiano Ronaldo at the time of recording this. I don't know whether he's going to go up. He might go up just because of the performance he's had. I mean, like, the, the game against Spain, man, was an unreal game. And um, I don't know where it's going to go. But right here, guys, is going to be our last weekend league game that I'm sort of really taking, ser taking seriously. And it's going to be at 21 and 2. I was going to show you the entirety of the game. So I thought to myself, nah, it's not really that worth it. Because after this game, I went from 22 and 2 to 22 and 5. And at that point, I was just like, you know what, guys? It's not worth it anymore. Because there's too much stress. There's too much pressure. And... Um, we have the best team in the game, pretty much, in my opinion. So, like, there's not really that much of a emphasis to drive forward, if you if you guys get what I'm saying. But uh, right there, my opponent makes a 1-1. But this game contains an unreal volley from Ronaldo. Right there, the finesse shot from R9. You can see why R9 is so good, because his finishing is just unreal. His long shots are unreal. And uh, he can just pop one from anywhere. And he's basically going to be able to put that one in the back of the net. But this is the goal that I'm talking about. And um, I reckon if this is the regular Cristiano Ronaldo... He probably puts it over the bar or like just hits it cleanly, but nothing like that. I mean, like just a smack off the crossbar, man. Oh my days! It's such a just satisfying goal to to score, and like I just I like I don't even I don't even have words. Like that card is so unreal, and this team is so unreal. But like after I finished playing my games here, I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I don't I don't really want to play weekend league anymore. And this is kind of where I stopped for a majority of our games. And um, basically, this is basically where I stopped before I went on my break, which I'm currently on right now. So next episode, I think, will be the last episode of all the pre-recorded stuff. And then we'll go back into some live stuff. But um, yeah, guys, Schneidlin right here in our gold two rewards. And um, yeah, there's not really going to be all that much more. Like this is these are just gold two rewards. There's not there's, <laughs> there's not going to be that much stuff coming. And this was the weekend before the One Nation weekend. So um. Like, I thought to myself, you know what, if I'm not playing the weekend league, because also on top on top of that, guys, I also had exams coming at the same time, so it just, the timing wasn't right for me, and I wasn't going to spend, like, 13, 14, 15 hours trying to get games when, like, it doesn't improve my squad, and I can go and study for my exams at the same time. So I just thought it was more worthwhile, less stressful, so we go ahead and we sell in all our Brazilian players. Remember, we picked up that Telesco for 75k, um, uh, same with Marquinhos, or, like, we made so many coins. Look at Matos's price. I think it was like 110,000 coins. And I just need to discard a few informs right there. We did that. And we went up to 1.006 million coins. And we're going to go ahead and pick up a team of the year, Messi. And this is pretty much just wrapping up the club. Like... You can't get much better than this. Like, surely, our front four now, after we buy this Messi, we're down to 3,000 coins. We are bare bones in the club. But we have team of the season Ronaldo, team of the year Messi, team of the um, player of the year Neymar, and R9 up front, Oliveira as our DMs. Tellers and Walker, two prime center backs, and team of the season De Gea. It's pretty much the best team in the game. Like, it's a 195, guys. And, um... We even have players like Son, Depay, Roberto Firmino, Lukaku, Malinkovic, Savage on the bench. Like, this is a crazy team. And uh, it just shows you that if you put in the time, if you put in the efforts, you can definitely get up there. But right here, guys, we're going to go get Neymar. 
Because I need Neymar in my life. And those are all the Brazilian players we got from the packs that I wasn't really using. We're going to chuck Neymar through here. And we're also going to go and pick up a Cristiano Ronaldo. So that's how it's all going to wrap up, guys. And uh, yeah, guys, we have Team of the Year Messi in the club. Now, as you guys can see, this is a pretty cheap team. I think Pepe and like Costa, the two expensive... Uh, no, Costa Deco are the two expensive ones. And then... Everything else was relatively cheap, and I was like, surprised that Ronaldo's actually this cheap. But there we go, guys. That is Cristiano Ronaldo and Neymar in the World Cup Club. And next episode for you guys, we are going to be opening up a whole bunch of icon packs, and then I'll be showing you the team that we built with those sort of icons. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. And, um... Yeah, we have Team the Messi in the club now, which is absolutely crazy. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the series and liking the team in front of you. And uh, let me know, what's your team looking like at this stage of FIFA? And I know all those um, those man of, match of the day cards are out. Have you tried any of those? And are they good or bad for you? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys in this FIFA 18 Road to Glory episode. See you guys next time. And peace. Okay.